Mr. President, one of the most hostile nations for religious minorities in the world, Pakistan is one of the most hostile nations for religious minorities in the world and continues to violate many of its citizens' rights to freedom of belief and religion. Between 2012 and 2013, more than 700 people were killed and more than 1,100 injured because of a religion-related violence. Despite Pakistan's constitution guaranteeing freedom of religion, discriminatory laws foster an atmosphere of religious intolerance and erode the social and legal status of members of religious minorities. There are frequent reports of job discrimination, attacks on minority places of worship, kidnappings and forced conversions of non-Muslims. Sectarian violence is chronic with the government continuing in its failure to protect Shias, Christians, Ahmadis and Hindus. Courts use Pakistan's anti-blasphemy statutes to give death or lifetime jail sentences to minorities accused of insulting Islam. Often, their crime is as simple as openly professing their faith. At least 16 people are facing the death penalty in Pakistan for blasphemy and 20 are serving life sentences. Pakistan's Ahmadi community is subjected to the most severe legal restrictions and officially sanctioned discrimination. Anti-Ahmadi laws contribute to a permissive climate for vigilante violence against the community. In contravention of Article 18 of the ICCPR, Pakistan's penal code prevents Ahmadis from engaging in full practice of their faith. They also suffer voting restrictions in conflict with Article 25. Mr. President, how states treat their minorities is not only an issue of human rights, but one of civilization. In the name of both, we call upon this Council to urge Pakistan to protect religious minorities from violence, to actively prosecute those committing acts of violence against them, to release individuals currently jailed for blasphemy, and to repeal its blasphemy and anti-Ahmadi laws. Thank you. Thank you very much.